Greetings everybody and welcome to the Bond Geek channel. I'm your host, I'm the one and only Stevens. Henry Stevens. Everybody, how do you do? Hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying a good Bond film, a good Bond book, good Bond video game, a good James Bond, whatever makes you part of this glorious fandom, everybody. How do you do? And today, you know what? This has been a subject that I think has been on the web now for such a long time. I've seen so many different news outlets run with it, different online YouTube channels run with it. You know, even channels who aren't really Bond related have talked about this as well. It really... Honestly, ever since like November 2019, I think when this thing came out, people have been talking about it, but it is, is essentially this. Is actually Safin, Rami Malek's villain character from No Time to Die, actually a new version of Doctor No? I have seen so much about this over the years. People discussing and debating, looking into the trailers and all sorts of things and discuss it. So you know what? It's my channel. I thought I'd address these things and give you my things for it. And we're going to have a bit of a sort of defense and prosecution in this, whether it's a good idea or not. But before we get into that, everybody, I just want to talk a little bit about Safin here at the moment. Because for me, I absolutely adore villains in movies. I sort of love a really good villain. I love villains who are like over the top, who are very dangerous, who are very scary. What I love about villains is I love to sort of, if you will, root for them a bit. You know, just really get involved and really get excited by them, really get intrigued by them. You know, maybe the little one line is like, no, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Or to us, Mr. Bond, we are the best. Or, you know, Silver's grand entrance in Skyfall, you know, stuff like that. You know, I love the villains. And, you know, it makes it better when you have this great villain. Because to me, your hero is only as good as your villain. To quote, you know, um, Moriarty from the Sherlock um, TV show of, you know, recent years, every story needs a good old-fashioned villain. Your hero is only as good as your villain, everybody. So, you know, villains are very important to me. And I think Safin has the potential to be, I think, one of the potentially the best Bond villains of all time. I love how Barbara Broccoli talked about he's a real sort of villain that gets under your skin. He really gets under Bond's skin. You know, he's very cunning, very intelligent how they, people talked about him. You know, Rami Malek summed him up as he's very unnerving. Honestly, this is all exciting me beyond belief when it comes to Rami Malek Safin. I really hope he's one of the greatest Bond villains of all time. And if you watch my recent video on my um, my six hopes for No Time to Die, he is one of my hopes that he will be one of these great villains of all time. And then suddenly, I think it was around about the time actually when the first uh, trailer came out, people started coming up with, is he actually Dr. No? Is this actually like a new version of Dr. No? So where did this, where did the rumour start that um, Rami Malek's Safin was actually going to be a new version of Dr. No? To be honest, I don't actually remember where it started. I just honestly remember reading it somewhere i think it was off screen round or it was like off a what of a what culture youtube channel but so literally i remember saying is rami max Safin actually a new doctor no because i think a lot of people were looking at the trailer and sort of seeing the um, iconography and seeing what he was doing with this character Safin, and i think they also started thinking about well with christoph waltz inspector they said he wasn't blofeld but we all sort of knew it was blofeld are they trying to sort of pull the wig over us again and saying, oh, no, 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 he's not really Blofeld, he is, in this time, oh, no, no, it's Safin, it's not really Dr. No. Well, actually, is he? Is he Dr. No? Are they just trying to do it again, but this time a bit more better? You know, so many questions came around, and so many people have different theories of, like, pro and against it. It's all just building up to beyond belief. So what I thought I'd do on my channel here is sort of basically, if you will, form a committee, like in Skyfall Committee. On the table, we have myself bringing the prosecutor and the defense of whether Safin is actually Dr. No, everybody. And on the panel, if you're wondering, I've got Ian Fleming himself, I've got Cubby Broccoli, I've got Michael Wilson, I've got Barbara Broccoli there as well, I've got Joseph Wiseman, the original Dr. No actor. You're all on the panel here, you're on the panel as well. So let's really actually look into this right now, everybody. So let's look into the cases potentially for it, because there are a few. Number one is actually, if you didn't know already, from the books, Dr. No has his heart on the wrong side of his body. You know, most of us have a heart, well, for me, it's about here, obviously, as you're seeing here. But actually, Dr. No has his heart on the other side because someone tried to assassinate him by shooting him in the heart and it missed because his heart's on the other side. And if you notice in this picture I've got on the screen now, and I'm sure most of you have talked about it as well, Safin has a wound where his heart's meant to be, yet he's still going. So that's a potential interest for it. 
The other thing that people have really brought up is, if you look in the trailers as well, this sort of like, you know, when it comes to his lair and everything, there is a sort of radiation background to it. There's those radioactive pods, there's people walking around radioactive suits and the potential, I think, actually, by the way, on that note, everybody, they're bringing in Shatterhand's Garden of Death into Safin's lair here as well. But that's the story for another matter, everybody. But there is a sort of background in radiation, and Dr. No was a um, sort of world-leading expert and investigator and researcher into radiation. Heck, in the, not, in the film, that's how he lost his hands, dealing with radiation. Obviously, in the books, it was cut off as a punishment from stealing from the Tong Society. Um, so there is that little side of it as well. Another thing that people bring up is actually Safin wears the no mask um obviously but n-o-h actually which comes from the Japanese um background as well that's like you know it's a no mask he's Dr. No everybody I think that's something as well actually to consider as well um the other thing I really say is his attire um you know Safin very much wears kimonos and stuff like that Safin looks a lot how Dr. No was described in the books, how he, what he wore in the books. Obviously, he wore different things when Joseph Wiseman played him. But there is all this stuff building up as well. On top of that as well, everybody, you've got lines said in the trailer, you know, that are harking back to the great conversation between Dr. No and James Bond in the film Dr. No with, you know, you know, world domination, sin or dream. Everyone thinks of Napoleon or God. Psychiatric wars are full of them. And, you know, creating history isn't kind to men who play God. You know, there are harkens back to it as well, everybody. There is all this mounting stuff growing here. And on top of that, his sort of island location, his submarine base, tell me you're not getting a few crab key um, sort of vibes from that as well. I mean, you know, there are there is that sort of feeling as well. Heck, if Bond ends up going to this place where they're saying it's called Crab Key, um, you know, that that that's really something for us as well. So that's really actually I feel I have to say my sort of look into case that it really could be potentially Doctor um Doctor No Safin's playing. Let me just repeat those again. You've got heart proof that his heart's on the wrong on his wrong side in the story because of that picture and the stuff. You know, you've clearly got someone who's very into radiation and understands it and is researching it and sort of, you know, his sort of thing. You've got the no mask, you've got his attire that is very much close to how Doctor No War, war in the book you've also got from the trailer an island or so submarine based getaway that has very reminiscent of crab key and dr no's original sort of layer so you've got all that fut stuff but let's now look into the other side of this everybody let's look into the case against it now for me the one of the biggest things case against it is the fact that uh, Blofeld was not that well received, I think, in Spectre. In general, I think people didn't really like the new Blofeld. I don't think bringing this old character back had the great dramatic thing that I think the Bond producers were hoping for. Because the majority of the general going probably like, Blofeld who? Who's Blofeld? We don't we don't know this um, Blofeld person. Um, so it, it didn't really leave that much of an impact. So really bringing back, say, Dr. No, it's like, well, people will probably have the same reaction outside as Bond fans going, who? What? Sorry, is this meant to be someone in, from the past? I don't know. Quickly, l let me just um, Google it right now. Um, we're probably, you know, they'll probably do that. So what's the point in doing that, really? Which leads me on to my second point, is Rami Malek has said religiously that he spent ages with Barbara Broccoli, Michael Wilson, and Kerry Fuganaro in crafting this complete new original character. Clearly could be spin, I don't lie, but when you spend so long you can't just maybe imagine, which again leads me on to my next thing as well. They might have cherry picked bits and bobs from like the book version of Doctor No and some other characters. I'm thinking honestly Shatterhand at the moment, going back to that Garden of Death thing and other things to create this complete new original character just based on elements that um, Fleming put in his books, everybody. Um, I think the other thing is you've got to know it, thing is if you look at um, Rami Malek, he is not really playing Doctor No the exact same way, but that could again just be an interesting different side note to it because honestly that's really my cases for against him being Dr. No. I think it's very clear that Rami Malek, Barbara Broccoli, Michael Wilson, Kei Fuganaga have said they've spent ages creating a complete new character and I think the biggest ones on that as well is he could be using just elements from the book of Dr. No um, into a complete new character and the fact that the Blofeld reveal wasn't this big massive thing everyone they were hoping for that couldn't that must be a consideration like you know do we bother doing that again really 
But you know what? Another thing that really intrigues me with this whole scenario is Rami Malek himself, because ever since the um, ever since he got you know his first interview, he talked about how you know Doctor No was one of his favorites. That's actually probably where it all started. Everybody, him saying that you know the obsession with Doctor No. And you know what? He's been asked so many times in interviews, is he playing Doctor No? Is he playing Doctor No and stuff? And you know what? He's been so coy. You know, there's a lovely quote he has here, which I've got on screen now, is, that is interesting. I'm not going to bite on that, but I do think it's interesting. We'll just have to wait and see. Let the rumours fly, because no matter what you expect from this movie, you'll be shocked when you watch the film. I will not add any fuel to the fire. He, you know, Rami Malek, he is just playing with this whole thing so much. He is just, he's really adding fuel to the fire and just really revving up saying, am I? aren't I? You won't know until you see the film. Ooh, that would be interesting. He's done many other quotes similar to that as well, but that's the one I picked up. He really has been sort of playing with it a lot. So everybody, look, I've given you sort of ideas of pro. I've given you ideas of like con. So where do I stand on this one? And um, this is where I stand on it very much, everybody. Earlier this year, if you said to me, Henry, do you think um, Rami Malek is playing basically a new version of Doctor No? I would have said yes. I would have said 100% yes. I think he is a new version of uh, Doctor No. I think his name will be Safin in the film, but he'll have like the nickname or like, the, or, like a calling card name of Doctor No. Uh, I really think this is a complete new version of the character, retaking elements from the novels into this new version. And I expected them in this new continuity to start taking old villains and giving them a new modern or different twist in them. And I think that's all right. However, everybody, I've, you know, I, I have changed a lot since that opinion. And I'd like to stress here and now, if they suddenly, it does get revealed that Safin is actually Dr. No, I'll actually be quite happy. I'll actually be quite okay with it because I think Rami Malek, just from watching the trailers alone, has shown that his Doctor No will be dramatically different than, you know, the previous Doctor No and will be a complete new version of the character, akin to how every new Bond actor gives something new to the character. So I think Rami Malek will do to Safin. It does connect, I think, quite well with Spectre having Doctor No as maybe the next villain because this is someone who was a part of Spectre and at the same time quite a big sort of wig when it comes to, I think, within Spectre. But everybody... I, as I say, my mind has changed a lot. And I actually think now, hands down, Safin is not going to be Doctor No. I think, honestly, they've created a whole new character and they've cherry-picked things like Doctor No's um, heart being on the other side. They've incorporated into Safin. I think also they've incorporated like bits of Shatterhand character, you know, Blofeld's... Um, you know, disguise character from You Only Live Twice into Safin as well. I think, honestly, Safin is a bit of a amalgamation of things not used from Bond villains from the books shoved into one character. And I think that, again, will be really interesting as well. So really, everybody, my conclusion to this is, if he turns out to be Dr. No, great, I'm very happy with it. Give me a complete new version of the character. Maybe it'll be one I really like. Heck, we all thought that when Christoph Waltz was going to be Blofeld, this would be like the definitive Blofeld. Didn't turn out that way at the moment, to be fair. But it was something interesting new. Why not do it with Doctor No? And if it is just an original character, great. I've got to got another complete new original Bond villain to go with everybody. So either way, honestly, I think it's a win-win. But I want to know your thoughts now, everybody. I want you to comment down below. Tell me, would you be happy or would you be upset if Rami Man ended up being Doctor No or not? Are you pro against it? What are your thoughts on this as well? Don't forget as well, again everybody to like and comment subscribe channel definitely do subscribe and click the notification bell icon everybody because on this channel we have james Bond reviews we have editorials what if else world scenarios we're looking to top tens more content on no time to die coming out everybody and so much more coming down the line everybody you don't want to miss it everybody as always everybody my name's Haven stevens this is the bond geek goodbye <laughs>